Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. Like Semper Vivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. You watch NXT? I did. Yeah. I know everyone's expecting me to rant and rave about the main event, but I don't care. I'm over it. I'm over it. I, I could not help but laugh, though. It's he Ethan. doesn't care. Stop saying that Brian Alvarez cares. It's Ethan Stop Page, it. Javon Evans, and Wes Lee for the number one contendership at Halloween Havoc. And, like, the most over guy in this match is Javon. He's flying around. He's making comebacks. This, this place is going crazy for this guy. And I was literally watching this, and I mean this with all due respect. <laughs> I'm like, you marks. <laughs> don't, don't you idiots know what's going to happen here? And sure enough, Ethan Page stole the pin on Javon. He pinned Javon. So old Jobber Javon once again oh, beat. Come on. And uh, it's once again. It's like the third time they've done Ethan Page Trick Williams in a in a championship match. And uh, I could have been mad about it, but like I, I honestly don't care. I'm over it. I said my piece. Nobody cares, so I don't care. And how angry can I be because at least somebody listened to me. Yeah, I will take credit. They can deny it, but I'm taking credit for this. Oh, for calling to, to put Jamie Every Parker in those shorts? Every single oh. segment on this show. Graphics for everybody. I'm not talking even like they just put Fatal Influence for three people. Everybody, every last single person in every last single segment that spoke or did whatever had their name on the screen. I was like, I was so happy. I shed a tear. It's all I asked for. It's all I asked for. Well, see, they listened to you there. And they I really needed it, actually, in that segment where they had like nine blondes all in the same segment. And thankfully, they uh, they identified Brinley and Carmen and Sean Spears and Ashanti and the Virgin. They all of them identified. Yes, all the blondes there. Well they, well, they only identified two of the blondes, but there were you look at the did you look in the background? Somebody actually put a screenshot on my Twitter. It's like all blondes as far as the eye can see. Yes, They're all milling them. around in the background. They're like, next time somebody yells at me for saying there's all these blondes in it. Well, here's your picture. There is, but it's usually time to complain about that when they're in the locker room setting. They're all they were. together and right there. No, they're in the back. They're in the kitchen area. You got to the forefront there. That's all that mattered. There were kitchens and that everything. Poor like Rose. That. Yeah, so I... I uh... We'll, we'll hear what we'll hear what uh, I see. I'm feeling Lance is going to watch this show and uh, and bury it because this is gimmick. But see, it's not ah, fair because no. Lance wasn't watching this show like the last two months they were on USA when all I did was just hate the show with such a passion. It's miles better on the CW. Part of that is they're identifying everybody, but everything's better. The storylines are better. The matches are better. I mean, he didn't yep. have anything to compare this to. Yeah, do you like the graphics and color scheme? Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed this show a lot. And then laughed uproariously at the main event. Oh. People people are mad about what they do with Brian Danielson. <laughs> Come on, watch this show. Watch old Javon. But don't worry, he's only 20. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. You know what I laugh about every time I hear that he's only 20? What's that? First off, he just turned 20. He was 19 until April. So it's been May, June, July, August. Seven. It's been six months, I guess. He's, I guess when you're still that young, he's 20 and a half when people ask how old you are. I'm 20 and a half. I'm but anyway, well. Good. you have got to understand this about Javon. I feel like I have to explain this to these idiots at NXT. He's not some green kid that is just off the street and like you're trying to teach him how to work. Do you realize that Javon Evans has had 237-something matches? 237-odd matches. Would you like me to go through, like, the AEW roster and find out how many matches some of these people... You think that in the last five years, Top Flight has had 40 matches? I mean... 237 over matches. over how many years however long he's been working he's only 19 probably three four years i don't know 
237 matches. So it doesn't mean though, Brian. Keep, like, hold on, keep this in mind. All right. Go ahead. He, he had a three way. All right. He has had half the number of matches Wesley has had in his entire career all over the world. TNA, WWE, everywhere. He's had half as many matches as Wesley. And he's had a quarter of the amount of matches as Ethan Page, who has been wrestling since 2006. So the idea that, oh, well, you know, he's green. He needs to learn how to work. All this other crap. Bro, this guy's a vet. He's like a vet. But he's uh, out here is gonna yell doing jobs right every single week. Lance is going to yell Putting people you over. That. Well, he can look. He can put me. He 237 can... matches doesn't make you a vet. And you it is nowadays. Quality. Well, but in the quality okay. of those matches. Na name though, somebody in AEW. One of the younger guys. But, uh, uh, Ricky Starks, Daniel Garcia. I don't know. Who? How young? Are we talking about like Nick Wayne? What? Let's see here. How come every time I want to find this, it takes me to look, the internet got, wrestling database? You don't database. even need to go that. to anywhere else. You can just look at the NXT roster and people that they have used like right off the bat and understand that he's had a lot more experience. He is a lot more refined. You can tell with his confidence and how he, you know, again, he's not the greatest technical worker in the world or anything like that, but he just started. Ricky Starks has 20. 456, so about a um, couple hundred more. He's been wrestling since 2012. So it's been uh, 12 years. He's got 456 matches. Let's see. Brian, I... Brother it, Zay. It, uh, you have to throw out some of the bad faith arguments when it comes to this stuff and look at the fact that NXT, when people go in there, Shawn Michaels and those guys want him to obviously, they want him to learn what is going to benefit him on the main roster of WWE. Like so getting there, over? There is when he was the most curve. over guy in the match by Miles? Look, I'm sorry. You can do it all, dude. Booker. Well, why don't you look? You have enough connections. Why don't Clearly you not. Them, what you need to go down to the PC and ask some questions and kick some things around and slap Sean and say what the hell is going on? No, in I know this exactly place. what's going on. He's a young guy. He'll be fine. He. Will That's be. what's going on. But he will be, Brian. Yeah, you know and what? I, I don't. Want, you know what I don't want as a promoter is like everything's fine. I want everything but, to be good. <laughs> everything to be great. I want you to take a guy that's over and like go with him. Instead right. of, let's make sure that we make him less over by the way we book him than he was before we started booking him to, like, lose all of his matches. Is he less over? You keep talking about he's the most over guy with the crowd, but now I guess he's less over with you, which means he's less over with everybody because you feel No, that because way. this was an aberration that he was the most over guy here. If you've been watching the show lately, he does not get the reactions he was getting four months ago when they first debuted him. And he was in there, like, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Elia and almost beat him and then put in the main event with Trick. He was way more over then than he is now, with the exception of last night, which was a three-way which everybody wanted him to win because he was in with two heels. Of course he's the most over guy. That that entire crowd knew he wasn't going to win because we were going to No, they Ethan didn't. They Page. went nuts when well, he was we doing his near falls, thinking he was going to win. Well, they go... And then they, they did they the steal the pin the gimmick. Falls. Steal they the knew pin. he wasn't going to win because it was a bad look. They set up earlier in the show the fact that it looks like it's going to be him and Wesley and also probably him and Cedric teaming up to face Axiom and Nathan Frazier for the tag team titles and Ethan Page and Trick Williams in their third match on the spin the wheel, make the deal. I think we knew what was going to happen there. Him and Cedric. His team was Cedric Alexander. Like, I have nothing against Cedric, but if you watch the show, nobody cares about Cedric. He's like, nobody cares about him then whatsoever. He gets maybe, zero reaction. Maybe. And I, look, again, we're just spitballing here because I don't know. Maybe you have Cedric, who's got a ton of experience, got a ton of good in-ring work as far as being a technical wrestler goes, all that stuff. And you got a guy who's not over. And you got a guy with Javon who's very young, who's way over. You need new tag team champions. Axiom and Nathan Frazier is not forever. It's time for them to give up those belts. So to see Cedric... And Javon Evans have them. I don't think that that's going to be the worst thing in the world. And again, it doesn't matter. He'll be NXT champion at some point and then on the main roster. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for when it doesn't happen. Also, by the way, Lance says he didn't steal the pin. And he's right. It's actually worse. 
Javon hit his finish, and then Ethan rolled up Javon. He didn't even steal the pin. He pinned Javon. So yes. Thank God. It would have been God. better if he would have stole the pin and not pinned Thank Javon. Thank God you don't care about this. Oh my I God. I don't care about it. If you would have cared about it, you'd be really. Oh, I would. I would have started at the beginning of the show if I cared. I waited till the last segment. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.